Hello, my name is Lewis. Today you will learn how the color menu works. The color balance tool modifies the color balance of the active selection or layer. Changes are not drastic. This tool is suitable to correct predominant colors in digital photos. Selecting one of these options will restrict the range of colors which are changed with the sliders or input boxes for shadows, darkest pixels, midtones, medium pixels, and highlights, brightest pixels. Sliders and range from the three RGB colors to their complementary colors, CMY. The zero position corresponds to the current level value of pixels in the original image. You can change the pixel color either towards red or cyan, green, or magenta, blue, or yellow. This option ensures that brightness of the active layer or selection is maintained. The value of brightest pixels is not changed. Hue Saturation tool is used to adjust hue, saturation, and lightness levels on a range of color weights for the selected area, or active layer. In the selection primary color to adjust, you can choose between six, the three primary colors, red, green, and blue, and the three complementary colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow, the color to be modified. They are arranged according to the color circle. When hue increases, hue goes counterclockwise. When it decreases, it goes clockwise. If you click on the master button, all colors will be concerned with changes. GIMP standard is to set red as zero. Note that this colors refer to color ranges and not to color channels. Overlap. This slider lets you set how much color ranges will overlap. Hue. The slider and the input box allow you to select a hue in the color circle. With a range between minus 180 to 180. Lightness. The slider and the input box allow you to select a value. Luminosity. With a range between minus 100 to 100. The slider and the input box allow you to select a saturation with a range between minus 100 to 100. The colorize tool renders the active layer or selection into a grayscale image seen through a color glass. You can use it to give a sepia effect to your image. The Brightness Contrast tool adjusts the brightness and contrast levels for the active layer or selection. This tool is easy to use, but relatively unsophisticated. The Levels and Curve tools allow you to make the same types of adjustments, but also give you the ability to treat bright colors differently from darker colors. Generally speaking, the VC tool is great for doing a quick and dirty adjustment in a few seconds, but if the image is important, and you want it to look as good as possible, you will use one of the other tools. Brightness This slider sets a negative, to darken, or positive, to brighten, value for the brightness, decreasing, or increasing bright tones. Contrast this slider sets a negative, to decrease, or positive, to increase, value for the contrast. Edit these settings as levels command is to make your work easier, this button lets you turn to the levels tool, with the same settings.
The threshold tool transforms the current layer or the selection into a black and white image, where white pixels represent the pixels of the image, whose value is in the threshold range, and black pixels represent pixels with value out of the threshold range. You can use it to enhance a black and white image, a scanned text for example, or to create selection masks. Let's duplicate the original image to apply the threshold to it and use it to create a selection. Select all the image layer. Choose the Selection Editor dialog to create a selection from the mask applied. Then create a to path command. Then click to Save to Channel option. Now you are ready to modify whatever you want. Let's use Colorize as an example and change the table color. The Level tool provides features similar to the histogram dialog, but can also change the intensity range of the active layer or selection in every channel. This tool is used to make an image lighter or darker, to change contrast, or to correct a predominant color cast. You can select the specific channel which will be modified by the tool. Value makes changes to the value of all RGB channels in the image, the image becomes darker or lighter. Red, green and blue work on a particular color channel, the image gets more or less color. Remember that adding or removing a color result in removing or adding the complementary color Alpha works on semi-transparent layers or selections, here, dark means more transparency, and white is fully opaque. Your image must have an alpha channel, otherwise this option is disabled. The main area is a graphic representation of the active layer or selection dark, shadows, mid and light, highlight, tones content, the histogram. They are on abscess of from level 0, black, to level 255, white. Pixel number for a level is on ordinate axis. The curved surface represents all the pixels of the image for the selected channel. A well-balanced image is an image with levels, tones, distributed all over the whole range. An image with a blue predominant color, for example will produce a histogram shifted to the left in green and red channels, signified by green and red lacking on highlights. Output levels allows manual selection of a constrained output level range. There are also numeric text boxes with arrowheads located here that can be used to interactively change the output levels. The Curves tool is the most sophisticated tool for changing the color, brightness, contrast, or transparency of the active layer or a selection. While the Levels tool allows you to work on shadows and highlights, the Curves tool allows you to work on any tone or range. It works on RGB images. 
these buttons allow to choose the linear or logarithmic type of the histogram. You can also use the same options in the Tool Options dialog. This grayed out histogram is not displayed by default. The horizontal gradient, it represents the input tonal scale. It, too, ranges from 0, black, to 255, white, from the shadows to highlights. When you adjust the curve, it splits up into two parts. The upper part then represents the tonal balance of the layer or selection. The vertical gradient, it represents the destination, the output tonal scale. It ranges from 0, black, to 255, white, from the shadows to highlights. Smooth. This the default mode. It constrains the curve type to a smooth line with tension. It provides a more realistic render than the following. Smooth. This the default mode. It constrains the curve type to a smooth line with tension. It provides a more realistic render than the following. To help you adjust color curves use the color picking to identify the ranges from black to white and from shadows to highlights. Pose to rise. This tool is designed to intelligently weigh the pixel colors of the selection or active layer and reduce the number of colors while maintaining a semblance of the original image characteristics. This slider and the input boxes with arrowheads allow you to set the number of levels 2 to 256 in each RGB channel that the tool will use to describe the active layer the total number of colors is the combination of these levels. A level of 3 will give to exponent 3 equal 8 colors. By using the desaturate command, you can convert all of the colors on the active layer to corresponding shades of gray. This differs from converting the image to grayscale in two respects. First, it only operates on the active layer, and second, the colors on the layer are still RGB values, with three components. This means that you can paint on the layer, or individual parts of it, using color at a later time. The invert command inverts all the pixel colors and brightness values in the current layer, as if the image were converted into a negative. Dark areas become bright and bright areas become dark. Hues are replaced by their complementary colors. Value Invert This filter inverts value, luminosity, of the active layer or selection. Hue and saturation will not be affected, although the color will sometimes be slightly different because of round-off error. The Auto submenu contains operations which automatically adjust the distribution of colors in the active layer without requiring any input from the user. Several of these operations are actually implemented as plugins. Channel Mixer This command combines values of the RGB channels. It works with images with or without an alpha channel. It has monochrome mode and a preview. Compose. This command constructs an image from several grayscale images or layers, for instance from extracted RGB, HSV, components. You can also build an image from grayscale images or layers created independently. Decompose. This command separates the channels, RGB. HSV, CMYK, of an image into separated images or layers. This command reconstructs an image from its RGB, 
HSV components directly, unlike the compose command which uses a dialog. Rearrange color map. This command allows you to reorganize colors in the palette of indexed images. Set color map. This command opens a dialog which allows you to select another palette to replace the color map of your indexed image. First click in the button with the name of the current palette, which is not the color map of your image yet, to open the palette selector. Once you have chosen the wanted palette, click the OK button in the Set Palette dialog to replace the image color map. Alien Map This filter renders very modified colors by applying trigonometric functions. Color Exchange This filter replaces a color with another one. Gradient Map this filter uses the current gradient, as shown in the brush, pattern, or gradient area of the toolbox, to recolor the active layer or selection of the image to which the filter is applied. To use it, first choose a gradient from the gradients dialog. Then select the part of the image you want to alter, and activate the filter. The filter runs automatically without showing any dialog or requiring any further input. It uses image color intensities 0 to 255, mapping the darkest pixels to the left end color from the gradient and the lightest pixels to the right end color from the gradient. Intermediate values are set to the corresponding intermediate colors. Palette Map this plugin recolors the image using colors from the active palette that you choose in palettes dialogs. It maps the contents of the specified draw able layer selection with the active palette. It calculates luminosity of each pixel and replaces the pixel by the palette sample at the corresponding index. A complete black pixel becomes the lowest palette entry and complete white becomes the highest. Works on both grayscale and RGB image with or without alpha channel. Color map rotation lets you exchange one color range to another range. Sample Colorize This filter allows you to colorize old black and white images by mapping a color source image or a gradient against it. The histogram dialog shows you information about the statistical distribution of color values in the active layer or selection. This information is often useful when you are trying to color balance an image. However, the histogram dialog is purely informational. Nothing you do with it will cause any change to the image. If you want to perform a histogram-based color correction, use the Levels tool. Border Average This plugin calculates the most often used color in a specified border of the active layer or selection. It can gather similar colors together so that they become predominant. The calculated color becomes the foreground color in the toolbox. This filter is interesting when you have to find a web page color background that differs as little as possible from your image border. The action of this filter is not registered in undo history and can't be deleted with Ctrl plus Z. It doesn't modify the image. Smooth Palette 
It creates a striped palette from colors in active layer or selection. The main purpose of this filter is to create color maps to be used with the flame filter. The color to add alpha command makes transparent all pixels of the active layer that have a selected color. An alpha channel is created. It will attempt to preserve anti-aliasing information by using a partially intelligent routine that replaces weak color information with weak alpha information. In this way, areas that contain an element of the selected color will maintain a blended appearance with their surrounding pixels. Colorify This filter renders a grayscaled image like it is seen through a colored glass. For every pixel, the filter computes a weighted average value of the RGB channels. This is equivalent to desaturating the image based on luminosity. The resulted color is the product of this average value and the colorify color. Filter Pack This tool offers you a collection of unified filters to treat the image. Of course, same functions can be performed by particular filters, but you have here an interesting, intuitive, overview. Hot this command identifies and modifies pixels which might cause problem when displayed on 2PAL or NTSC TV screen. Max RGB For every pixel of the image, this filter holds the channel with the maximal slash minimal intensity. The result is an image with only three colors, red, green and blue, and possibly pure gray. Retinex improves visual rendering of an image when lighting conditions are not good. While our eye can see colors correctly when light is low, cameras and video cams can't manage this well. The MSRCR multi scale Retinex with Color Restoration algorithm, which is at the root of the Retinex filter, is inspired by the eye biological mechanisms to adapt itself to these conditions. Retinex stands for Retina Plus Cortex. Besides digital photography, Retinex algorithm is used to make the information in astronomical photos visible and detect, in medicine, poorly visible structures in x-rays or scanners.